Hi, in this video we're gonna, we're gonna take a look how to insert and configure Virus AG plugin in Studio One version 4 on a PC. So before we go into it, um, go and check out how I've done MIDI routing with the Loop MIDI device um, so that you can clone ports in your DAW and um, how to make the routing settings right here on a MIDI aux application. Uh, this is quite crucial if you're using a keyboard version of your synth so that you can get the keyboard notes coming into your DAW and you can also get direct MIDI out from the virtual port into your physical device. Uh, this is displaying uh, Ethernet MIDI because I'm using um, uh, IP MIDI tool which is cloning my port from, from the virus and from my CS6X um, into a virtual uh, Ethernet MIDI cable. I'm using a MIDI patch bay uh, application which takes care of all of the routings. So let's get into Studio One and set it up and running. Before we go to inserting the plugin or so, Let's go to options and external devices. I've got the keyboard right here. So it's coming from the loop MIDI port in and I'm tracking all of the nodes and stuff via the uh, this port. So I'm gonna create a new one and create a new instrument. And let's say this is a access. Yeah, access and choose virus C desktop and we are sending MIDI data to loop MIDI port out. So this is now sending data into the virtual port and from there it goes to the physical device. And let's choose all channels and send MIDI clock. So we can send the DAW MIDI clock into this device um, from the DAW. Okay, that's all good. And let's add the instrument. Virus AG. And now that the plugin is open, we go to the multi settings and choose the right model right here. And then we can choose the MIDI in and MIDI out. Now the data has been received by the plugin. And if you're starting from scratch, you can obviously um, start browsing through the patches in here if you wish. Just double click on and it will be sent to the corresponding part. But in this case, I'm just gonna synchronize data from the virus, which is uh, going to fetch all of the current data from my virus C desktop into the plugin GUI like so. Okay, next up, let's create some tracks. Um, I'm gonna create MIDI tracks so that I can send the MIDI nodes out from the DAW into the virus right off from this, um, this window right here. So. Let's choose that. And now we can see that we've got uh, 16 MIDI tracks right here. Obviously, if you're routing your audio from the virus into your DAW, you need to add audio tracks and choose the appropriate inputs from the list and then enable monitoring option. Um, in this case, I'm routing the audio in a virtual, uh, sorry, on a slave Mac so that it comes into the recording without doing any audio routings in the, in this virtual PC. So if I choose channel one right here and I start to play my keyboard, we should be hearing the sound from the virus. Like so. You may wonder why this LED is blinking on a channel one. That's because we are receiving MIDI from the Ethernet MIDI port. 
So if you want to block that LED blinking, you just go to the advanced MIDI settings and block out the note messages. Obviously we got some aftertouch coming through, so that's blinking there as well. Okay, so now you can start doing uh, MIDI blocks or clips in here and play them through and that will be sent directly into your virus. Uh, it will be synchronized with the DAW and yeah, that's all. So in the next video we're going to take a look how to use the librarian and its functions to get the most out of the librarian features as well, like requesting data from the hardware and storing data into the hardware and also saving banks, etc. So thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye.